Hello, I'm James Shared from the Accountancy People and I want to talk about saving up um, your, your money to, to pay your taxes um, today. So I wanted to take on the, the main taxes that small businesses um, that pay, so that's corporation tax, uh, PAYE, the personal tax of the directors and VAT. So taking the, uh, the most simple first, uh, PAYE, PAYE being uh, the tax that you deduct when you pay people um, and that's, that's payable um, either the month following the payment of, uh, payment of salaries um, or quarterly and it's as simple as that um, so nothing, nothing really more needs to be said about that one. So in terms of VAT, VAT um, is, is on a quarterly basis um, so every quarter you, you uh, prepare a VAT return and then you pay your VAT and it's paid um, a month and seven days after the end of your VAT quarter, so quite soon afterwards. But again, it does need saving because um, because you'll be uh, receiving uh, VAT from your customers all through the quarter and then paying it at the end. And it's uh, it's probably the biggest tax that you bill that you pay. It's certainly the biggest one that I pay, um, and I'm never very, very happy paying it. So then there's corporation tax. Corporation tax is the tax that's paid on company profits. Um, and it's paid nine months after your year end. So just to be clear, what that means is that uh, if you set a company up in September 2016, then uh, you first you do your first year to September 2017, and then nine months after that, June 2018 is when you pay your tax. So at the moment you pay your tax, you should have 21 months worth of corporation tax saved up in your company. And clearly, there is a temptation if all this tax is accruing into your accounts and in your bank account to spend that money. And then what happens is that you get into, a, it's very easy to get into a, a routine of uh, paying last year's tax month taxes with this year's earnings. And that's okay, but what the problem happens um, if your earnings go down, because then you've got the double hit your earnings are down, so you've got less money, and then you've got to pay the big tax bill from the previous year. So I'd always recommend that you make sure that each month as you earn money, you put the money on one side, um, so you've got your tax money um, available when it's due. Then the more complicated one is actually income tax. So income tax is paid by self-employed people who, or people in partnerships, and they pay all their tax, um, all their main taxes and national insurance, um, as a personal income tax liability. But also, if, you've, if you uh, put your earnings through a limited company, you'll pay your dividend tax and any higher rate um, income tax as a personal liability of the uh, shareholder. So what happens here is you do a tax return um, for the year. So if you're in 2016, you'll do your, you know, all, your, all your earnings from April 2016 to April 2017 will be included in your tax return and then you'll file that tax return by January 2018. So again you'll see see what's happening um, that you're you're earning the money in 2016 principally and paying the tax in 2018. So there's a huge again a huge uh, temptation to pay it to um, uh, not to save your uh, tax money. In addition to that there is a something of a complication in personal tax because if your tax bill is over a thousand pounds then they ask for the money up front um, so so in in January so if you start your um, if you start your uh, self-employment in 2016 and you run your accounts to uh, April 2017 you pay your tax in January 2018 in that January you'll pay 18 months worth of tax um, the idea being um, to, to catch up so that you're still paying your taxes in arrears but just less in arrears than you would normally otherwise be. And then you get into a routine of paying your tax um, six monthly in January and in July. In July. Um, but that first uh, hit, you don't pay tax for ages and then you pay 18 months worth can come as something of a shock um, if you're not ready for it. Just to summarise, um, saving your tax money is really important. It's really important for your cash flow um, and it's really important to sort of make sense of your personal finances. So if you'd like to talk to me about saving your tax money, how much you should save and when you're going to have to pay your taxes, then please get in touch. I'm James Shear from the Accountancy People and I look forward to speaking to you.